There are lots of ways to speed up video in Final Cut Pro, but I'm going to show you the only five that matter. Not only will I show you how to make your video fast, I'll also show you how to not mess up the timing of your project and how to make your sped up video sound natural. Not like a chipmunk. Be sure to watch till the end and I'll show you how to add this cool speed ramp effect in just two clicks. All right, before I show you how to speed up a clip in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how you can speed up your playback. So I have some clips in my timeline and they're just playing back and you can see my red playhead moving. If I want to move it faster and play back faster, I just press L and it will speed it up. If I press L again, it will go even faster. I can press L multiple times and go really fast and speed up my videos. If I want to stop or pause, I'll just press K and it will stop. If I press J, it will go back in time. And if I press J multiple times, it'll rewind faster. Check out this clip I have in my timeline of this woman running, holding an American flag on a beautiful beach. It's in slow motion and I want to speed it up. So I'll select the clip I want to speed up and then I'll press Command R to bring up this retime editor. And you'll notice that we have this green bar above our clip. The green means it's at normal speed, it hasn't been sped up or slowed down. Now to speed it up, all I have to do is click and drag on this end point here of the green bar to the left. And you'll see it change to a kind of purple blue. That means it's now sped up or it's going fast. And you can see here in the middle how fast it is. And here's our video sped up. If I click on this arrow next to the speed in the retime bar, I have some options here. I can select fast and I can change it to two times the original speed or four times, eight times, or 20 times. Oh boy, that's too quick. I can also go to custom to enter a custom speed. I have some options. I can make the direction of the video forward or I can make it rewind and go in reverse. I can set the rate right here by entering a percentage. Let's say I want it to go five times as fast. So I'll enter 500 for 500 and then press enter. You'll see that the clip changed duration because it took that clip and it sped it up so it doesn't take up as much time. Let's reset that back to normal speed. I can also change the speed by selecting duration and then saying how long do I want this clip to be and then you Final Cut Pro decide how fast that should be to fit in that time. So this first number right here, these first two numbers, that's hours and then next we have minutes and then seconds and frames. So I'll just double click in there to select it all. With it selected, I'll press 500 and then enter to change the clip to five seconds long. If I select the clip and look right here in yellow, you can see it's five seconds long. And then the clip has been changed to 417% to fit in that duration. Let's open that custom back up and you'll see this little ripple button here. I'll show you what that does in a little bit, but that's pretty helpful. If I want to reset everything, I can just click this little hooked arrow and that resets everything. And to turn off this retime editor, I just select my clip and press Command R and it closes the green bar and the retime editor. I can also select the clip I want to speed up and in the bottom left hand corner of the viewer, I can click on this little retimer tool icon and it shows me my options. And I can quickly select fast. Let's go eight times as fast. You'll see that it opened the retime editor on the clip. It's now blue, meaning we've sped it up and we can see we've sped it up almost 800% there, eight times. Here's what that looks like. Oh, wow, what a beautiful sunset. I love a good sunset. I can also open up the custom editor from the retime options in the viewer. Just click on custom and it will pop that up. Another cool trick is just to double click anywhere on the retime editor and it will bring that up. And when I'm done making changes here, I can also hide the retime editor in this menu. Let's take a look at that ripple edit option. I'll select my clip and press command R and I'll double click on the bar to bring it up. You'll see ripple is checked. And what that does is when I change the speed, the magnetic timeline is going to move the other clips like this one to the right to stay in time. If we zoom out and look at that, you can see that my magnetic timeline adjusts to fit the new speed of that clip. Now, if I want to adjust the speed of this clip, but not mess up the timing of my video, then I need to uncheck that ripple checkbox. So I'll click there. And now when I make it faster, we'll say 500% enter, you'll notice that it added this gap clip here to maintain the timing of my project. And then it made the clip shorter because we've sped it up. You can reset your timing and your speed really quickly. Select the clip you want to reset and then click on this little arrow down and select normal. And you'll see it goes back to 100% of the speed. You can also double click on the retime editor and change the rate to 100% and it will reset it. You can also select your clips and click on the retime options and select normal or press shift N and it will reset it to normal speed. Or you can select reset speed right here which is option command R. All right, we're just speeding along. Let me know if I'm doing a good job catching you up to speed. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, in just a little bit, I'll show you how to do speed ramp the right way. But first, let's look at preserving our pitch. 
All right, I have a clip right here with some audio hey, attached to it. And this is an AVCHD file. You can speed these clips up as well. I'll press Command R and we'll just bring this over here to the left and make it faster. Let's take a listen. Wow, that's sped up, but it doesn't sound like a chipmunk. Why is that? That's because Final Cut Pro automatically enables the preserve pitch. So if we select the clip and go up here to our retiming options, we can see down here that preserve pitch is enabled. If I unselect that, let's listen to it now. <laughs> so if you speed up a clip and it sounds like a chipmunk, just select your clip, go to the retime options and make sure preserve pitch is checked. All right, I have a clip here of this guy walking along and I just wanna speed up a section. I don't wanna speed up the whole clip. So what can I do? I'll select the clip, press command R, then I'll skim my playhead to where I want to speed up right here. And I'll press shift B and that cuts the retime editor right here. And then I'll go to where I want it to slow down again. I'll press shift B and now I have three sections here and they're all normal speed. Now I can adjust this middle one. I can speed it up like so, or I can click here on the arrow and I can select fast. We'll go eight times. And now we have this cool little transition where we go from normal video speed to sped up and then back to normal speed. There's a cool effect you can use for making a quick transition. So we're going from this room into the bathroom and I wanna add some kind of movement like there, some speed to it. So what most people do is they skim to where they want to speed up and they'll press Command B and it cuts their clip into two and then they'll skim to where they want to stop speeding up and be back to normal speed and press Command B. So now we've got our clip into three parts. Then they'll select the middle clip and they'll just go here to the timing options and they'll go fast, you know, they'll pick something. And this is what that looks like. It's moving along and then it goes real quick. It works, but it's not smooth. It's kind of jarring. So there's a better way to do that. I'm gonna undo all those changes and I'll bring up the range selection tool by clicking on the tool selector here and selecting range selection or even faster, I like to just press R and it switches to the range selector tool. And I'll skim to where I want to start. This looks good. And I'll click and drag to the right until I get to the end point. And this looks good. Next, I'll go up here to the retiming options and I'll select fast, let's go eight times. And you'll see it just sped up that section we had picked. So let's take a look at it now. Doesn't that look way better? It's smoother and it just has some style to it. Now, if I've selected the wrong starting clip, no problem. I can click right here on this little tab and it brings up our speed transition. I'll select edit for source frame. And now I can move that. I can move it forward in time. I want it to start, oh, right about here. Okay. You'll notice that it added these gray bars here. Those are our transitions. So instead of going from normal speed to sped up speed instantly, it gradually makes that change. And so I can click and drag on the end of these to make the transition longer. I really like to pull these two to the middle more like that. And we'll pull this one to the middle. And then we have a nice smooth transition into that fast speed. And then I can do the same for the end here. I can make that transition out smooth. All right, here's how that speed ramp looks. We're moving along in the beautiful bedroom and then whoosh into the bathroom. Isn't that so much better looking? It's smooth, it's cinematic, it's got style. Sometimes in your project, you may not want to speed up your video. You might want to add a freeze frame. I put together my top six tactics for adding a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro. Check it out. I'm frozen.